Kathy White's true is going to be unveiled. And it's not a man. And that woman died screaming. Anything else? <laughs> yeah. Show them the tape, Diddy. You got it. This entire Kathy Corey White situation just keeps coming up, and every time there's something new. Well, allegedly, the feds have also found a few things that do not add up while looking into Diddy, and it's not looking good for Beyonce and Jay-Z. And guess what? Allegedly, there's even a film of her death. A freaking tape, y'all. In addition, a conspiracy theory about Beyonce has gone viral online, suggesting that the song Daughter from her album Cowboy Carter is a confession to the unaliving of Kathy White. I told you, it just keeps coming. Okay, guys, if there's one death people have really been trying to figure out, it's the one involving Kathy White. But if word on the street is anything to go by, there could actually be a breakthrough. And just like people have been suspecting, three people could be heavily implicated. Jay-Z, Beyonce, and Diddy. What do you mean she's dead? You know, what happened to her? This is just a beautiful, young, seemingly uh, healthy 20-year-old woman. I was told that she didn't have any health issues, you know, and it was very shocking to hear. And her colleague did not know what happened to her or how she died or why she died, but all she knew that is that she was dead. So obviously when I, when I heard this, um, it was very troublesome and disturbing to find out that this woman who possibly was going to give me an exclusive story on her affair with one of the most powerful rappers in the world, that's very disturbing. And, and, and it certainly is very convenient for Jay-Z, isn't it? That she, Die. Yep, right there is Liz Crokin, who was the reporter that was just about to get an exclusive with Corey before she died. Liz definitely believes that Jay-Z was involved in the death, and she's not alone. Jaguar Wright was also recently on another one of her rants, and she directly called out Diddy, urging him to start snitching and talk about what he knows regarding Kathy White's death. She actually implied that there may have been a cover-up by Diddy to protect Jay-Z's marriage to Beyonce at the time, saying, you and Jay-Z down in Vegas in town with Claudia, why don't you just talk about Kathy. I mean, Diddy was in the vicinity when Jay was allegedly smashing Corey, and the rumor that Jay and Kathy were together was actually sparked after Corey and Claudia Jordan were spotted in Las Vegas Town nightclub sitting at a table with Jay-Z and Diddy in 2010, and Bay was not present. Based on reports, they were there to see the Floyd Mayweather and Juana Manuel Marquez boxing match, with sources revealing that just before they attended the Sin City fight, Jay purchased a $2,500 pair of Louis Vuitton shoes for Kathy to wear that evening. Apparently, Jay also requested Corey bring a few friends to ride with them that evening so that it would not look like they were a thing. Then based on what the tabloid said during their time in Vegas, Jay also took Corey gambling at the Bellagio Casino. And once again, he insisted that Corey bring a few friends to their table in an attempt to cover their public appearances. There were also reports at the time that Kathy was a close friend of Claudia Jordan, who was well known for being a homewrecker. Apparently, allegedly, just like Claudia, Kathy had openly admitted to only messing with super rich guys and that unless a man had a net worth of at least 50 million, she wouldn't pay him any attention, which means that Jay was a perfect catch for her. Claudia has actually been roped into this conversation a few times, and in 2020, Crazy Days and Nights even wrote a blind item, saying, this A-list host slash model is also an actress. Our host has always stayed quiet about the death of her friend, but has become more convinced over the years that the permanent A-plus list rapper had her friend unalived. It just seemed too convenient that he wanted her out of the picture, and shortly after he said that, the friend ended up dead. The blind item later revealed the A-list host was Claudia Jordan, and the rapper was Jay-Z, and Claudia's friend was Kathy. Well, Claudia Jordan recently responded to people who have been telling her that she should tell the truth about what happened to Kathy. First of all, she dismissed the claims that they were close as completely false, stating that she and Kathy White were merely acquaintances who hung out a few times in 2010. In addition, Claudia also emphasized that during their time together, Kathy never mentioned anything about being involved with Jay-Z, let alone being pregnant by him. And then she said, we drank, gambled together, and played craps in Vegas. No Jay-Z. She was never pregnant around me. I'm so sick of people telling the story. In addition, she also went live and pretty much said the same thing. So it would not be rare or odd to see a Diddy, a Jay-Z, an Eve, a, a this or that, a yeah. little Kim. They would be out there for that. We randomly ran into him. Now, the second time we saw him, he was definitely out there and he had a show. Okay, he had a concert. And he was not paying my friend no mind. Like, we were all there, and he was just, like, polite. 
and he was not flirting with no one. There was nothing going on. So I need y'all to stop with this false narrative. A blogger, Jackie Jasper of Hollywood Street King, put this story out in 2008 because he was fed it from my hating ass ex that was trying to ruin my reputation. So he was taking any little things. Oh, she was doing this. He was doing. This. She's jealous that he hit on her, not her. It's not true, y'all. And y'all running with one source, and then Jaguar gets on and reiterate brings back up and y'all believe it now i'm not saying that she don't say some real stuff i don't know her like that but when it comes to me i was never diddy's girl and if you had an address i would serve you but you don't okay if you had an address i would serve you can't serve the homeless i saw him in vegas at a party with well i have also heard that jay-z paid her to say that they were never friends of kathy so i don't know if we can really trust anything that comes out of her mouth anywho like i said people have been suggesting that the song daughter from beyonce's album cowboy carter is allegedly a confession to the unaliving of kathy white and tiktok has referenced the following lyrics from the song claiming they hint at kathy's death your body laid out on these filthy floors your blood stains on my custom coutures bathroom attendant let me write in she was a big fan i really tried to stay cool but your arrogant sister disturbed my solitude. Now I ripped your dress and you're all black and blue. Look what you made me do. Oh, it goes on. In addition, people also said that Beyonce really meant that poem she was reciting from another one of her songs, Anger. And again, some people are saying that she was possibly referencing the people they had to take out, like Kathy. If it's what you truly want, I can wear her skin over mine. Her hair over mine. Her hands as gloves. Her teeth as confetti. Her scalp a cap. Her sternum my bedazzled cane. We can pose for a photograph, all three of us, immortalized. You and your perfect girl. But this conspiracy doesn't end there, guys. The conspiracy theory also alleges that Kathy White was pregnant with Beyonce's husband, Jay-Z's child, before her death. Then shortly after giving birth, she passed away under reportedly mysterious circumstances. It further alleges that Beyonce's first child with Hove, Blue Ivy, is actually the illegitimate child of Kathy White and Jay-Z. In other words, it states that Beyonce allegedly unalived Kathy and now claims her daughter Blue Ivy as her own. Now, the part about Beyonce faking her pregnancy, we've heard that a lot, and people even present receipts. For instance, in this clip that has been making rounds to prove that Bay was never pregnant with Blue, Beyonce is seen sitting down for her interview when she was pregnant with Blue, and her baby bump allegedly folds. Well, Bay did say later that the fabric was what folded and called the rumors crazy, but people are still convinced that she faked the pregnancy. I don't know about Bay faking her pregnancy or allegedly stealing Kathy and Jay-Z's daughter and raising her as her own, but what I can tell you for a fact is that the situation that surrounded Kathy's death was a little bit sus. The thing is, Kathy was contacted by a major tabloid that was investigating the Jay-Z connection. She gave them a little information to go on, but according to one of the sources following her conversation with the tabloid, she called Jay and told him that she was going to go public with their affair if he didn't pay her. Then Beyonce revealed she was expecting her first child with Jay-Z on August 28, 2011 at the MTV VMAs, and Kathy passed away three days later on September 1st, 2011. Now, the same reporter named Liz Crokin, who reached out to Kathy back in 2011, was back saying that she still believed that the circumstances surrounding Kathy's death were fishy. Liz said on X that in August of 2011, she was working as a senior editor for Star Magazine, and her boss asked her to look into online blog reports claiming that a woman named Kathy Coriana White, who friends called Corey, was having an affair with Jay-Z. Liz said, I managed to get a hold of Kathy at her job in New York over the phone. During our first conversation, she denied having an affair with Jay-Z. Furthermore, she also claimed that she had never hung out with him or had even met him. I then uncovered photos of Kathy hanging out with Jay-Z and and Diddy, no less, at Tao Nightclub in Las Vegas. So I called her back and asked her about the photo evidence and debunked her initial claim that she had never met or hung out with Jay-Z. At this point, Kathy expressed to me that she would consider going public with her story. According to Liz, days later, she tried to reach Kathy at work with no luck, and she finally got a hold of one of her colleagues and asked her if she knew why Kathy had been MIA. And her colleague shockingly told her she was no more. Liz also said that sources told her that Kathy had told Jay-Z she was considering going public with Star 
via her after they talk. She said there were also online blogs that reported the same story, and she ran a small story on this that appeared in Star at the time. In addition, she said she wanted to pursue the story further, particularly investigate if she was indeed unalive, but she was discouraged from doing so, and her boss was not interested in running a follow-up piece. Also, allegedly Jay-Z had law enforcement and even coroners in his back pocket, and sources said that there are corrupt coroners in New York City who will rule homicides as natural deaths for cash. And since Jay had plenty of cash, it really wasn't hard to put some of them in his pocket. It also doesn't help that according to an NYPD detective, Kathy's cause of death was uncertain, and the detective said that they had the autopsy and toxicology reports done to figure out what really happened to her. Here's what the detective said, quote, a 911 call came in from an apartment on 130 West 19th Street in Manhattan. Ambulance came and took Kathy because she was sick. They took her to the Beth Israel Hospital, and that's where she died. It was too early to be speculating that an aneurysm unalived her. They would be doing an autopsy later to check out her cause of death, but someone might have given Kathy a bad so they'll do a toxicology test and we'll have to wait two weeks for that report. But even after a detective confirmed that something weird was going on there, I find it quite fascinating that the real autopsy never came out and the information never found itself to the media. Basically, someone worked really hard to make sure that no more information got out about the affair and the cause of death was concluded as an aneurysm. I mean, somebody definitely knows what happened to Kathy. And if you ask a lot of people, they will tell you that Beyonce definitely knows something. And you know what? The feds are already on it. And I know that because Rihanna's former publicist also recently said that he was questioned by the feds about Jay-Z. Jonathan said that his phone has been blowing up in the last couple of weeks since the Jay-Z stories started making rounds again. And he wrote in an Instagram post, I was mentioned in this explosive and viral documentary by Trap Laura Ross that was featured on at Academics that's made my phone blow up for the past week. Recently, at Jaguar Wright has talked about this controversial situation as well, as I was the publicist for Pond the Replay. The debut single by Rihanna. It's time for me to finally set the record straight once and for all as it's way beyond shocking, messy, and just flat out crazy AF. Prepare to be blown away as what William Mosley and I have been going through over the years involving this historical scandal needs to be put to bed for good. Yes, heads are going to roll and people will be floored, but the truth needs to be revealed. Then in a follow-up interview, Jonathan said that he was stopped by federal agents who he said were keeping close tabs on Jay since his incident with Lance on Rivera, and he was also being implicated in an incident with R. Kelly during their joint tour. Jonathan said that one day, unmarked law enforcement cars stopped him and the intimidating individuals introduced themselves as a federal task force and they requested to speak with him. So he followed them to talk and he was in a complete state of panic. He said that as he sat in the desolate makeshift interrogation room and while they questioned him, the gravity of the situation became clear to him. Apparently, the feds clarified that they were investigating Hove for allegedly engaging in X-rated activity with Rihanna when she had not yet turned turned 18 and illegally transporting her across international borders. And the feds said she wasn't the only one. There were many others. So yeah, the feds have been looking into Jay-Z for years. And with Diddy's case blowing up, they just may have a breakthrough on a lot of things, not just the Kathy case. I bet it's about to go downhill from here for Jay-Z. But meanwhile, let me know what you think about what has happened to Kathy White. Will Jay-Z finally face the law? Do you think Diddy was involved in the death? Was Beyonce involved as well? Sound off in the comments section below.